Greetings, friends, and welcome back to this week's devotional. And uh, it's called, It Is Good For Me That I Have Been Afflicted. And this was inspired by a psalm that I read uh, earlier this week. Uh, you may have caught that in our, in our psalm study on Monday. And so I wanted to share this with all of you today. So here is what this week's devotional says. And I pray in the powerful name of Jesus that it blesses you. Sometimes God allows affliction, trials, and even suffering in our lives. It might tempt us to wonder, how could God allow this? It's hard for us to imagine that God would allow these things for our own good. But it, that is, in fact, what the Bible teaches. God allows trials and struggles, and these struggles mold us. They shape us into the people we are today. The psalmist says in 119, verse 71, It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I might learn thy statutes. The psalmist claims the purpose of his affliction is that we might learn God's ways and learn God's statutes. Sometimes these troubles and afflictions cause us to draw near, even nearer and closer to God. We realize we can no longer rely on ourselves and in our own abilities. Therefore, we draw near to God for protection, for grace and mercy. For this, the psalmist says, it is good. The Apostle Peter tells us, it should not surprise us when trouble comes, but we should instead rejoice. I will admit, this is a very difficult teaching. However, this does not mean that the teaching isn't true. It just means that it's hard to swallow. Especially if you are amid a trial right now. First Peter says, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you as though some strange thing has happened unto you. But rejoice inasmuch as you are partakers in Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, you may be glad also with exceeding joy. If you be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye, for the spirit of glory and of God resteth upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. If it is possible, and through the grace of Messiah, it is. May we take a new view of our struggles and disappointments, and may we take a step back and ask, what is God trying to teach me right now? Draw near to him and you will find peace, and he will guide you through this storm. Psalm 119.75 says, I know, O Lord, that thy judgments are right, and that thou in faithfulness has afflicted me. Well, I pray that that has spoken to someone's heart this morning. Real quick. For the last five weeks, I've been doing these devotionals, writing them, and even creating videos. And the videos have been going up on the Patreon page for the Patreon subscribers. However, unfortunately, very few of them were actually watching the video. And um, here's what I've just come to learn about how support works with this particular work, like Scripture and Prophecy. The people who support Scripture and Prophecy, they support it because they believe in the work that I'm doing here. They genuinely care about the work and believe in it, therefore they support it. They don't support it for perks. In fact, what I've noticed is that people who are only interested in the perks only subscribe long enough to receive the perks and then they unsubscribe. So in previous years, all, what I've done is my approach has been, and my mindset has been, if people love this work and it's important to them and they want to see it continue, they'll support it. And so what I had done in the past is I've just given early access to things like this. So the Patreon subscribers received this devotional on the Patreon page and the video a day earlier than everyone else. Likewise, the Hebrew... Uh, training videos, which there are currently six as of right now, um, have also previously only been available to Patreon subscribers, but they weren't very few were actually watching them. So that's now available to anyone who subscribes to the email list. So it's completely free. However, when I create a new one, which I intend to do on a monthly basis, uh, so next we've already I've already released one for this month. So next month I'll release another one. Patreon subscribers will get that about a week to two weeks in advance. Um, so there's still advantage, still some perks. 
But for those who support this, they support it out of love and out of belief in what's being done here. And that's and the perk for them, I believe, is that the work continues to move forward. So just kind of changing back to the old mindset. Um, in fact, uh, support has actually been down over the last couple months, as, as I've mentioned a few times. And I mentioned that not to complain, but just to point out that, e that you know, even though I've done more work and putting more time into it, that doesn't necessarily mean or equal more support. Um, support comes by those who have a heart to give and are able to do so. If you're if you care about this and you're unable to support it, your prayers are much appreciated. I'm always in need of prayer and guidance from God that he would lead me in the right direction, lead me in the right path, and uh, that his blessing would be upon this podcast and the work that I'm doing here. So I hate to include that at the end of the devotional, but I wanted to give you guys a heads up as why you're seeing this now on the YouTube page. And if you're a Patreon subscriber, uh, I hope that you understand that uh, it's just best that everyone has access to these things um, and that uh, your support is, is greatly appreciated um, and uh, you'll continue to have early access to, to, every, to things like this and as well as free uh, digital versions of the books that get released uh, and hopefully one comes out in the next couple of months. All right, my friends, I pray that you have a blessed weekend. Peace and grace be with all of you. And until next time, God bless.